Well, it'll be enough to ignite, but it's not going to be what I'm hoping for, I don't think. We'll see. There we go. Now what you want to do is take your matchstick and just gently tamp down on it. Now the anvil is a little difficult to clean. Just rub it around your finger and all the crud will fall off of it. Now here's the anvil ready to be seated. Now here's where it gets really tricky. It's to set this into your press because you can't use a hand priming tool. I've tried it. It's really tough because the, the anvil sits above the primer for a little bit until you reseat it. So I use my press because I have more control there. Now what you do is you put this part here, you put the primer cup into the press very gently and you put the anvil on top of it point down then you seat it. Now we're going to do this and I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay, So let me change the camera angle again and I'll show what I'm doing. Okay so here we go. We're going to seat the new newly charged primer into a 45 case. And this is how I do it. First I want to make sure that this primer pocket is clean. Use my screwdriver. I put it into the rim like this. I run it all the way up. I just leave it there for now. Get some circulation in my fingers here. This is where things get a little dicey. I take my cup and I without spilling anything, trying to anyway, seat it into your priming tool here, just like that. Now comes the tricky part. These things are small and if you got giant fingers, you're going to have a hard time doing this. And just sit that top. Just like that. Then we bring it down. Keep your face away from it because it could pop. <clears throat> Alright, the primer seated. So only one thing left to do, and that's to test it. Let me go get my 1911. We'll see if it'll pop. Okay, I got my 1911 ready to go. I got my case. You can see that the case still has a little bit of a dent in it. So let me go ahead and just drop this in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it on this card here so we can see the results of what we did. These aren't 100%, okay, reliable. So, just so you know. Plug my ears. See the smoke coming out of it. It works. It needed a little bit more. Probably could have used three more matches to make it actually pop. But the fact that it would ignite some gunpowder is enough for me to reasonably assume this would ignite a charge. And we got a little scorch mark on the page. Not much of one, but it's there. You might not be able to see it, but it's like a little dark spot here. What I'd like to do now is, ooh, that's dirty is to um, run an oily pass through it.